Hello ladies, Jeremy here. Today we're gonna speak about the best... One second, I have to... Yes, the microphone is running. The best fall fragrances. The best fall fragrances for women. And I just spoke with a Google employee and he told me I have to tell my female audience in specific that you have to subscribe to my channel because many women are viewing this channel but are not subscribing. So please, if you like fragrances, if you want me to keep continue speaking about perfumes for women, then please subscribe. So today we're going to speak about the best fall perfumes. And in particular, I'm speaking about fall perfumes that have a semi-warming vibe. So we're not speaking about these typical fresh and clean fragrances like Chanel Coco Mademoiselle or this new one Dior Joy advertised by Jennifer Lawrence. We speak about fragrances that give you somewhat of a warming character, not so brutally cinnamon, honey domination like in the winter, but definitely it goes already in the direction that we want to have it warm and cozy for the nice fall time. So we start off with the number 10 spot and this is Tom Ford's Velvet Orchid. And this is just a suggestion for all you ladies out there that truly love, and I know a lot of women love, the Black Orchid by Tom Ford. Black Orchid, Black Orchid by Tom Ford is a fantastic fragrance. This Velvet Orchid is a bit of a lighter version, more appreciative for an amateur nose version of this fragrance Black Orchid. So you have to know that one is very polarizing. This one is much easier to understand for the nose. That other one is a patchouli bump. This is more appreciated by the masses than your typical Black Orchid. So if you love Black Orchid, I suggest you to go instead for your next purchase for Velvet Orchid on the number 10 spot. Number nine spot is a nice fresh and clean with a fall vibe type of a fragrance. And we speak about Prada's Amande. Not many people speak about this one. This is your nice Prada soap DNA. Prada is known for making fantastic soap fragrances, but it has this nice heliotrope, but mainly a touch of almond. We have a touch of almond in this, which makes it very appropriate for the fall, which is very nice, giving it this typical nice sexy it factor, but staying 100% office relative and great for the office, above average performance. The most important three criteria when I judge fragrances are performance, how long does it last, how is the mass appeal, how do men and women like that fragrance, and how unique is that particular fragrance. In all of these three categories, this is above average. This is the number nine spot, a great office fragrance, Prada's Amande. Number eight spot, this is Mugler's Angel Eau de Toilette. Very important, we speak about the Eau de Toilette, not the Eau de Parfum, because the Eau de Toilette is much easier to appreciate for the nose, again, for mainstream noses. The Eau de Parfum is a patchouli bomb, a chocolate bomb. It's overwhelming and that one, especially the Angel Muse, is better for the winter time. This one is great for the fall. So you get this typical Mugler Angel chocolate DNA, but uplifted with nice fresh fruits. So this is my clear suggestion for you if you want to have a nice, great chocolate fragrance without being overwhelming and for the fall time. So this is number eight spot, Mugler's Angel Eau de Toilette. Number seven spot is Jean-Paul Gaultier Essence. And this one is the Classic Essence, which smells like the original Jean-Paul Gaultier Essence, but has a lot better performance with a touch of a whipped cream vibe. So imagine the top seller DNA of Jean-Paul Gaultier Classic with a nice addition of a nice yummy whipped cream vibe. And this is mainly of course, synthetic because you don't have whipped cream as an essential fragrance oil, but it helps this fragrance to last forever. This fragrance simply lasts forever. It is a fantastic, if you have your mom or, your, or, your, or yourself or your aunt, 
that loved the original Jean Paul Gaultier classic, she will absolutely love this one. This will be perfect for the fall and also absolutely perfect for general night out situations. So this does have a more elegant yet seductive vibe for the fall time or for the evening out. The original Jean Paul Gaultier classic DNA with a nice whipped cream vibe on the number seven spot. Number six spot, this is Viva la Juicy Noir. And this is very easy explanation. Everybody of you knows the Viva La Juicy fruity, floral, sweet, seductive, sexy female fragrance DNA is almost unbeatable. And this one is simply that fragrance DNA in its strongest form. So out of all the Viva La Juicies, out of all the Juicy Coutures, this is the longest lasting. So if you are all about, I want to have the best performance, go for this one, Viva La Juicy Noir. So this one, number six spot, fantastic for the fall, great. Good clubbing, good night out fragrance, Viva La Juicy Noir, number six. Number five, and this is one of the fragrances, Jean Paul Gaultier Scandal, that you will also find in the winter list. It just almost made this list, but when I said I'm going to put it, I said, all right, but then it deserves a good place because it's a fantastic new fragrance DNA, a honey bump. This is a honey bump, a honey bump, a honey bump. You get a lot of honey and some florals that try to fight against that honey on your skin, but they have no chance. So this is honey domination on your skin. I also have a little sample of the new Scandal by Night, but so far this is still my champion. I'm still in the testing phase for this one. So again, it's a honey dominated fragrance. Good for the fall, but also 100% good for the very cold winter because you can imagine a fragrance that smells like cozy, seductive honey will also smell fantastic in the cold, cold winter time. So opening up the number five list, very unique, very long lasting, and the men that smelled this one so far really do loved it a lot. So always above 7.5 in the eight out of 10 range ratings for this one. Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal, number five spot. Number four spot, the newcomer in this list. This is Elisab's Girl of Now Shine. How does it smell? Not like honey, like sugar, and like pistachio, and like pear. So you do need that pistachio and that pear because if you wouldn't have that, you would simply have a wall of sugar, which would be too much, but I get it so nicely right here. It's like an ice cream you want to lick. Very nice vibe that pistachio and pear is also unique in terms of having a nice unique fragrance DNA. As you expect, performance is huge. Just made a review about this one. This is the newest fragrance on this list. Very good one for the fall, of course, as well. Number four spot, Elisab, Girl of Now. Number three spot, a bit of an unusual placement, but it's so good, it has to be also in the fall list. This one is La Vie est Belle Eclat. Definitely better than the original La Vie est Belle because it's more better performing and it's more unique. This is for everybody of you ladies out there that love Armani Code. If you love Armani Coat, if you love the fantastic, ultra sexy fragrance DNA of Armani Coat, but you want to have a better performance, you have to simply buy this one. This is La Vie et Belle Eclat. It doesn't smell like a copy, but you will get this powdery, sweet, seductive, sexy, orange blossom fragrance vibe that you also have in Armani Coat, mixed with the traditional, super mass appealing fragrance DNA of La Vie et Belle. So that's number three spot, La Vie et Belle Eclat. Number two spot, the superstar. The gold digger, the woman that just takes whoever man she wants. If you are this woman that just takes whatever she wants, if you know you can have every man on the planet that you know, you have to wear Marc Jacobs Decadence because this is the most confident smelling female perfume I know. It is so mega hardcore awesome. It does have a very 
very confident approach. You get a lot of resins. How rare do we smell resins in a female fragrance? Like incense, like benzoin, these resins that come from a tree, very masculine. How rarely do you smell vetiver, that is a very woody, smoky, woody fragrance note that you also mainly get in male fragrances. How often do you get that in female fragrances? Very rarely. So you do feel this one speaks confidence. And to top it off, to have a nice uniqueness, it has a lot of plum, a lot of plum in this one, which every nose will get out there and some other florals that are just suitable to have them in a female perfume. So this one is for the not lady killer, man eater. This is for all the man eater women out there. Marc Jacobs Decadence, number two spot. And the number one spot, the best fall perfume on the market for women currently, Dior Poison Girl. Why? You know by now, I said it, performance, check, mass appeal, mega brutal, everybody loves this one. And thirdly, the fragrance DNA is not something that we had so far, never. This is a true unique fragrance in its world, but of course it's nowadays established and more and more women are wearing this one. Great. For the fall in particular, I suggest you the Eau de Parfum. So this is the Eau de Parfum, not the Eau de Toilette. The Eau de Toilette is even more mass appealing because it's more fruity and more fresh while keeping that sexy, seductive almond vanilla vibe, which this one also has. So in particular for the fall and for the winter, I suggest you the Eau de Parfum. If it's all season, all occasion, or you want to give somebody a nice gift, just go for the Eau de Toilette. But in this list, in the best fall perfumes for women, I clearly suggest you to go for Dior's Poison Girl Eau de Toilette. Eau de Parfum, sorry. All right, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Love you, everybody. Please subscribe to this channel and please recommend it to your female friends. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.